What's a super genius way to hide something in your house? False bottom to your cat's litter box. Nobody is going to dig through cat shit to look for your stuff. Former probation officer here. I had someone on supervision that had a complaint called in, so had to go check it out. Never could find anything. Then I noticed a litter box. He didn't list any pets on his paperwork. I asked where the cat was. He said the cat is always hiding. I gave him that. My girlfriend had a cat that would disappear whenever someone came over. But I was with a different officer that day, and he said he is highly allergic to cats and felt nothing. Three pounds of weed was vacuum sealed and under the cat litter. There was no cat. Also some benzos. So just make sure you also have a cat? Yes. Treat it as being super extra important so you hide it in a super extra important place in the house. Then tell yourself you'll always remember where it is because it's in that super extra important place. In my experience, you'll never find it again. I can't tell you how much shit I've lost due to this exact logic. I convinced myself I was going insane because I remember putting away some flat stack boxes, the free small flat rate boxes that USPS will ship to you, in a location that was supposed to be perfect since it's exactly where I would go if I needed to ship something. Never found them a week later when I needed to ship something. I really thought I was going crazy. I ordered another set from USPS and they're in my laundry room right now. But I've never found the first set in the 9 months since then. Maybe I never will. Maybe I will when I move out. I lost $200 somewhere in my house. I do have my secret spots for cash, but that day I was in a hurry, so I decided this will do nicely until I can get back and store it properly. That was months ago. I've done a through search and nothing. I'm now thinking someone must have broken in and just took those $200 and left. Once I won like 1000 at the casino playing blackjack. The Asian ladies that were playing at the table pulled up as drunk and me was leaving the casino, and asked if I needed a ride, I thought what harm could there be with me and three tiny ladies, after they asked if I needed a ride. So I hopped in, didn't need to get a cab, and who knows. Long story short they harassed me about money the whole time and to pay like $50 for the 10 minute ride, I was super pissed and threw a 20 at the driver when we got to my apartment. When I woke in the morning all that money was gone, and I was pissed. 3 months later getting ready for class and putting on my socks, bam a huge wad of cash pops out of the rolled socks, as drunken me apparently hid it there. If you are hiding large amounts of cash from determined people, then you make a dummy location or honeypot, a place with enough cash to make them go away and stop looking. Same concept when going through a bad neighborhood, you carry a wallet with enough cash to make a mugger go away. Edit, what idiot gave me gold for this stupid comment? If it's light and small. I split some of the seams on the side bottom of blackout drapes and stitched in a pocket and velcro. It's pretty much invisible, and I doubt people robbing the house want to disturb the drapes. I use it to stash cash. For larger stuff. I have a wood fireplace, so we have decorative wood sitting next to it. I split a log, hollowed it out a bit with a drill use it to hide a bunch of spare keys safe keys, etc. I made these things while I was recovering from an injury and super bored. On the positive side, I think nobody will look in my places. On a negative side if there's ever a fire the neighbors will think I'm insane when I save a blackout drape and a log. Edit, you guys are nuts. My address is redacted redacted street, redacted, redacted redacted USA. I have had some fun thinking about all the would-be robbers rifling through decorative fire logs and stealing blackout drapes. Honestly it would make some amateur junior detectives scratch their heads and that's enough to make me happy. Love you all. That works until a house sitter decides to use the fireplace. I used to think I could hide my weed from my mom in the towel in the bass drum of my drumset. One day I reached in and found a note instead. It said not as smart as you think you are. So not that way. If she's not a drummer, she wouldn't understand the towel and would assume it was nonsense you made up to hide stuff. If she was a drummer, she definitely had that thought before about it being a good hiding place because it seems so innocuous. I would have thought that was a genius way to hide stuff but the older I get the more I understand how my own mom's brain works. Become a hoarder. Fill your house with every piece of random junk you come across. Anything you own will become hidden. 
I just hid something inside a jar, put a toilet paper tube in the middle, then fill the sides with dog food biscuits. The odd part was, he was hiding dog food biscuits. Also odd, he has no dog. Plot twist, he was the dog the entire time. In the summer. Winter jacket pockets. My favorite day is when it's cold enough to put on your winter jacket for the first time and you find some bounty. Usually change, a rickler, or a ticket stub. I like to leave myself a couple bucks in my coat pockets when I put them away in the spring. When it gets cold again, I get a present. When I was a teenager I got my hands on a Playboy magazine. This was just before we had internet at home, which changed the game of course. My mom knew I had it but I was just old enough where she decided to tolerate a few boobs. Still, in the conversation we had about it, she bet that if I was trying to hide a magazine from her, she would be able to find it. I accepted her challenge and told her to give me a little while to come up with hiding place. I had a chair with a cushion made of foam with a fabric cover, like a typical couch cushion. I removed the fabric cover and cut a slit into the foam, inserting the magazine in the middle of the cushion. I then turned the cushion around so that the slit was on the inside and couldn't be seen if you unzipped it. I put the foam back in the cushion and put it back on the chair. Couldn't feel anything sitting on it. My mom searched for a good while and could not find it. I think even if someone tore your house up completely they likely wouldn't take the foam out of the couch cushions and carefully inspect it from all sides. Thieves don't care about your shit, if they think you have something they want, example they think you keep large amounts of cash drugs etc in your house, they'll just slash your cushions lounges etc looking for it. Inside of trophies. Mine are all hollow. That would require being good at something. Nah, you only have to be good at buying trophies. Yeah, you can just buy it and customize it to say whatever you want. Mine says, number one at hiding things in trophies. I had an encyclopedia set that no one else ever messed with. I used to hide money in the M book on the money page. Kind of obvious I know, but no one ever found it. I keep my LSD in my bible in the book of revelations. As a kid, I saw that whomever they had put the floor trim in my room didn't do a great job measuring. There was a section in one corner of the room, under my bed, that was about 18 inches long and held in with a single nail. I found that I could simply pull it out, and the whole thing would swing out like a door. So I took a knife and cut out the drywall. Just enough that if a trim was replaced, you'd never see the hole. I kept everything in there from porn to cash to weed. As a paranoid child with fairly conservative parents, I thought of all sorts of creative places to hide things. I should be a law enforcement consultant. I can find any hiding place. Hi Charlie, it's dad. Inside electronics. A lot of electronics has spare room inside. False wall and closet, either the back of the closet, top of the closet, or a wall that doesn't have a door next to it, harder to see the missing space. Drawers, false bottom, underneath a drawer, or taped behind a drawer. On top of cabinets, especially with a false top to cover whatever you're hiding. Behind the backing of a picture. Best with those cheap photo frames that are easy to disassemble. False middle to a bottle of soda. Toilet tank. Taped up under sink near the front board. Make your own false book, works best with large bookcase. Inside a large chair or couch that's not properly sealed up underneath. Behind washing machine. Under dishwasher. None of these will stop a dedicated person from finding them. A few of the appliance based ones can be discovered if someone else does a repair on them. A few require some effort to make false cavities. But between the variety it will be hard to figure out where. My house was robbed once. They cut the silk liner out of a really nice fedora from Havana, kicked holes in the back of all the closets and certain walls, disassembled electronics, pulled all the books off the bookshelf, moved around all the appliances, cut holes in couch cushions and mattresses, etc. However, they found no valuables because it's my second home, and I don't leave any cash or jewelry laying around. A lot of these ideas may be good for hiding things from people that live with you, but if you're looking to hide something from a would-be thief get a safety deposit box. If you want more of the best Reddit videos from this side of the universe, please subscribe.